What's up, everyone? I'm Stephen here with Tyler Systems, and today I am sitting in front of the all new, well, what's going to be the all new 8x20 Lab. So, the Lab was a model with our budget model, cheapest one we, uh, we're building, and we went back to the drawing board completely. So, we started from the ground up. So, this is the first one that we're building. This one will be ready in probably just about four weeks or so. So, we should be able to build it really quickly, and uh, the whole layout's different, everything. So, from here, I'm going to see if we go to the computer and we're going to take a look at the layout. And if you want to purchase one of these ahead of time, uh, we're taking pre orders right now. So here we go, we're up to the computer now. Okay, so here is the layout of the 8x20 um, of the entirely new laid out, um, completely redesigned LAD. So LAD originally stood for Life After Debt, and I guess it still does now. Uh, but we may consider building a 24 foot version. I'll explain the difference between that as well. Uh, sorry if you hear hammering in the background. Um, so. <clears throat> The way this works, this is the tongue up front, and this would be the rear of the home which you enter. So you would go around the home, your, all of your um, water hose hookups, electric hookups, sewer, all that will be on the rear side over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you'd walk around the back, open it up, and when you enter, you'd enter the living room slash kind of computer area here. You could put an entertainment center if you prefer. Um, so there's room for a full couch. And the whole idea behind this was to be a compact design. Um, this tiny house has RV axles on it, so it can be towed very easily from place to place, frequently if needed or if seasonal, um, or you could keep it in the same place. So as you walk in, you'll see this um, kitchen area spans, I believe it's a full 10 feet. Uh, so you have your two burner cooktop. Uh, you'd have a washer and dryer underneath, uh, all in one. So you'd have from here to here would be, this part would be full, um, this would be countertop. You'd have a full apartment size refrigerator and then a full floor to ceiling pantry here. Um, so you could do a lot of storage in here. And as you're walking down the hallway area, there's a pocket door here and that'd take you to in the bathroom area, which would be um, a stand up shower and then a pedestal style sink on the wall and a flush toilet. And you could also do compost if you want. On all of our tiny homes, we put a little outlet there. So if you need the fan to run for your compost toilet or whatever, you could do that. Um, then there'd be a bedroom area, which is a pocket door. Now, in the bedroom, if you want us to build a platform, then essentially the whole entire room is a platform. You can do storage, huge amounts of storage underneath. You could do that. You could even put like some sort of storage system under there. Um, or if you have a bed, you just prefer to put a bed in there and just want to keep it, you know, have your own bed situation in a platform. Now, if you did the platform, I'd recommend, uh, if you've ever seen them on Amazon, it's the kind that come shrink wrapped and they're um, uh, foam mattresses. So you would just literally bring it in there, open it up, and it would just kind of, unroll it will kind of unravel right there with it another thing we can do is above bed storage here on the walls if you want um, but that's completely up to you now if we did a 24 footer the only thing that would change is this this would go out four more feet so you'd have this whole entire area would come four feet out this way so then you could do a chair over here you could do a side table a lot of different options um, but the whole idea of this lad is to be our most cost conscious budget uh, model tiny home. So we have this and we have the next step up would be the model tiny and then the next step up would be the Mondo, which is 32 by 10 or 40 by 10. Now in our uh, model tiny, we are doing 28 by eight and 32 by eight, or both of those can be 28 by 10 or 32 by 10. Um, so, you know, this would be a 20 by eight or a 24 by eight. And this would be more, definitely for like the single person uh, if you bumped up to a 24 footer, you could fit two people in there a little bit more comfortably. Uh, let's just say if you live with a partner in this tiny home, you could have the living area here. If you wanted some space, you could close the bedroom area and have that to yourself. Um, so yeah, lots of options with this lad, but if you're interested, email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com or go to tinyhouselistings.build and click on the lad. We're still working on that homepage as of the time of this uh, recording. Uh, but yeah, just reach out to us. You can pre-order these. And we can build these in just as soon as four weeks. So thanks for watching. See you on the next video.